A little while ago, I made a video about raising funds for buying a BA-349 Natter, a World War II rocket-powered interceptor. It was something to celebrate my YouTube channel getting to 100,000 subscribers. To cut a long story short, I went to visit the seller to confirm that the product was real. While I knew it wasn't one of the original 40 Natters that were made before the end of World War II, I held out hope that it may have parts from the other 30 or so Natters that were in various stages of construction near the war's end. After seeing it in person, I knew some of the parts weren't original, but decided to press on. My Discord helped to show me that the Natter that I wanted to buy may be almost entirely fake, with a good breakdown as to why. As I said in my original video, if our fundraiser doesn't make the goal, all the money raised will go to charity. In the campaign for the Natter, that took place over one month, we raised 11% of the goal, which is £1,000. The money is being donated to the Armenian General Benevolent Union. They are the largest non-profit Armenian organization. Founded in 1906, they run humanitarian, social, economic, culture and education programs. A few examples of their work within Armenia. Children after school centers, senior soup kitchens, and Meals on Wheels for the Elderly. In the last few years, they've opened up technology centers aimed at young Armenians, giving them free access to after-school learning programs. These workshops are IT-based and range from creative and artistic stuff to technical and professional skills. I want to thank everyone that tuned in to watch the streams while I was doing the funding and an extra special thank you to everyone that donated. It feels so weird that I was in a position to raise funds. I didn't think my YouTube channel would ever gain any traction. My first gameplay video is terrible. It's just a snippet of some gameplay from Battlefield Hardline's beta. Now my YouTube channel has 100,000 subscribers. Over time, when I had more subscribers, I felt like I had to push myself to make better videos. The videos that took the most amount of time to make were the top five videos. Each individual video takes around three to four weeks to make. Research, script writing, audio recording, editing, and trying to troll the internet to find the best footage I can. I wanted to make top 5 videos that were more than just reading our Wikipedia pages. And let's not forget the use incognito mode meme. The meme template that took the internet by storm in late March and early May 2018. Thousands of re-edits of the green screen have been uploaded online. The meme even made it into PewDiePie's YouTube Rewind 2018, but it's actually good. The big highlights for me personally were going to Tankfest and meeting other War Thunder YouTubers. Turns out you can get along with people very easily that have similar hobbies to you. Also another highlight was being invited to Gamescom by Gaijin. And then I got to meet basically the same people as Tankfest plus a few more. I even got the chance to give back Mike's jacket which he accidentally left in England. The biggest thing that I have to thank my YouTube channel for was getting the opportunity to do a top 5 tank video for the tank museum. I'm not that good in front of a camera, but I gave it my best and I certainly enjoyed the selection of vehicles that I chose for that video. After we finished filming, I got to enjoy watching Tiger 131 in the afternoon. Thank you for joining me, along from the tiny YouTube channel that I used to have that I made little shit posts on, all the way up to what my channel is now, which is just slightly better quality shit posts. Like, comment and subscribe, you wankers.